under payroll uh, there is a task called payroll calculations so if you click on this payroll calculation navigator under payroll you are having payroll calculation so here there is a uh, see element classification is there uh, like it is seeded you cannot create your uh, new uh, classification so that is seeded by uh, uh, like uh, oracle or uh, you can just you can select some LDG so these are all the classifications predefined classifications available these are the set of classifications so here uh, you can just rename those if you want but you cannot create new classifications so this is a classification uh, these are the secondary classifications primary and this is secondary uh, and if you want you can edit this like you you can rename and all those things but you cannot create a, a new element classification so these are the uh, predefined set of uh, uh, classifications so So this is the uh, uh, like place where you create elements. This is we call manage elements. Just click on actions and create. So you have to select LDG here. It's a mandatory. And make sure that uh, like uh, now you have this, uh, let's say. Uh, uh, like Satya have uh, Satya has created one setup. So in his setup, uh, what he did was he created one LDG, one LE, uh, and he assigned that LE to particular uh, like the the PSU, like uh, the ligand to this that particular LDG. Uh, and uh, uh, like Balaji has created one more setup where he created LDG legal entity, and now he has attached that particular uh, uh, legal entity to. Uh, uh, like uh, to his specific uh, uh, LDG uh, and uh, now uh, let's say Satya is creating his set of elements and Balaji is creating uh, his set of elements so and now uh, Balaji is hiring an employee to his setup so he can see only the elements when, when he's uh, like uh, doing element entry like when he's attaching the element to a particular person then he'll see uh, uh, he'll see only the elements which are uh, linked to that particular LDG LDG is nothing but the LDG is linked to the PSU and uh, while hiring you will be selecting the legal entity uh, to which legal entity you are hiring so it will check uh, to which LDG this particular legal entity is attached and uh, you will be able to attach only those uh, particular elements like let's say you cannot uh, 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 like uh, uh, Satya has created his set of elements and Balaji uh, has created his set of elements then uh, for for the vice versa, like for Satya's uh, uh, setup, uh, uh, like uh, you cannot use Balaji's elements, and for uh, uh, Balaji's setup, you cannot uh, use these elements because that that is different LDG. So it's a LDG specific one only. Elements are LDG specific. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, create a uh, let's I'll say just standard earnings. Uh, these are the classifications now. Is it fine, Satya? Now you are able to correlate it right? uh, over time, premium, regular, regular, not work shift. Right. Um, <coughs> okay. Can you click the classification? Just a drop down. Uh, uh, just wanted yeah. to see. Okay. Okay. That's good. Fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, voluntary, involuntary, everything. Right. So I'll just create a regular. This is the questionnaire. So as you have selected the US LDG, this particular UI will come up. So this UI, if you if you have selected some other country, uh, like LDG, let's say if you have selected the LDG for uh, let's say France, okay, this will be different. This UI. So you'll see uh, Euro Euro here predefined, and employment level you'll be seeing different level here you'll be uh, like you may be having some additional like payroll relationship level or something assignment level term level so generally for us we have this assignment level and term level uh, and this is what is the earliest entry date for this element so what should be the uh, uh, like uh, uh, early uh, earliest uh, entry date so this is the first standard earning date whenever he earns that whenever his pay period starts 
so that should be his first uh, uh, like uh, uh, earliest entry date now what is the last entry date so we are having three things here uh, one is final close another one is last standardizing date last standard process process, process date final close means let's say employee uh, is terminated in uh, january but uh, his final uh, close will be happening in february period in that case what happens is this element will stay for one more month means this will not get end dated so this is what uh, is uh, called about we call final close so whenever his final close happens then this particular element will get end dated uh, this element uh, even after the termination this element will be uh, processed in the payroll uh, next is last standard earning date uh, let's say the person is employed till uh, uh, like 15th of this month oh, sorry uh, sorry uh, like the person got terminated uh, on uh, 15th of january so 15th of january is his last standard earning date so on that particular uh, date this element will be uh, end dated and uh, next one is last uh, standard process date which means like let's say if a person is uh, terminated on 15th but the the payroll period is monthly let's say the payroll period is uh, from 1st of january to uh, 31st of uh, january so uh, the process date is ending on 31st of january so this element will stay till uh, 31st of january so depending on our requirement we have to create our own uh, elements now is it fine this one so this is how you create so this is also the question should every person eligible for the element automatically receive it means this is the uh, uh, questionnaire so there is some element eligibility that i will talk about so depending on this questionnaire whether that uh, element this element will get an automatic entry or not that that depends now so this uh, so let's say uh, you are having uh, some um, your company has decided that uh, he, uh, it will give uh, uh, a bonus of say thousand dollars for all of its employees so irrespective of the job and all everyone uh, will be getting thousand dollars so if you select the yes here and you will be creating some eligibility there like uh, let's say i'll be uh, 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 like uh, creating this for uh, uh, like for all full time employees uh, all those things so depending on that uh, an automatic entry will be created so with a particular like uh, amount of thousand dollars like so automatic for all the employees you did not go and create manually so automatically uh, that entry will be created